I credit that movie, like I credit me being on the set of Nairobi Half-Life for everything that I've achieved in what? my life uh, up until today. If there's one thing I've loved about this season is Kufanya Easy City. I'm enjoying them. <laughs> Hey, 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 I wish I could do this for the rest of my life. Every day. Kuongea na watu na kulipwa. Kulipwa sana sana. How good it is. Talking about kulipwa. <laughs> yeah. Part of the goal that we are trying to do. Mm. And by we I'm talking about CTA. Yeah. We are grateful to God for the 600 plus thousand shillings that has been raised for your mom mm. by the community of CTA guys yeah. and of course the Mukuru community that are now intertwined themselves. So you lazima ukuwe tu member wa one community. Unaweza kuwa kwa CTA na hata kwa Mukuru. Mukuru gezi everywhere. You welcome here. So, we are also aiming for 2 million shillings. The money that was taken from your mom. Mm -hmm. I'm trusting God to to yeah. bring it back for mm -hmm. her to enjoy the soft life. Yeah. And as I said, I never ask people to do stuff that are not doing. Mm -hmm. So, nimetoa simu. Hii simu ilikuwa kwa silent kwa sababu kuna msia anajaribu kunipigia. But then <laughs> Let me go to the thing. Let me hit pin code. So, uh, tell me Judy, what's the number? 075 ah uh, 0798 0798 Yeah. Then you hit enter. Then you put the figure, stem taweka 2,000. Oh. And the mos mos. Haba na haba kujiazu kibaba. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's taking time to load. Oh, hii wifi ya hapa si. Let me move to data. Give me a second. Okay, Judy. I've fixed my wifi. Buni pati ya number? 07? 98. 9-8. 6-5-9. 6-5-9. 7-9-2. 7-9-2. Yeah. Do you have the phone that is there? Yes. In fact, just to call that phone. You know sometimes <laughs> guys guys think it is a lie. Oh my god. I have sent from Judy Murevi. Dio hiyo, unasikia ki vibrate? Unasikia ki vibrate? Richard Njau, yes. How much has come in? 2,000. Sawa, as you said. So guys don't think that at hii ni camera tricks tu anafanyanga. See tricks, baby. See tricks. I truly believe in giving. Giving, that's how more comes. Uh, but also, whether more comes or more doesn't come, mm. me, I'm still going to give because, Sorry, yani, soft you. life. Soft life, yeah. Mama Judy lazima ifanyike. Thank and you. I'll do my little bit. God okay. bless you. This story na bamba. By the way, uh, the double M, <laughs> merchandise manager, kuku ananipigia simu, ananiuliza umefanya mention. If you'd like our CTA merchandise, we've got this in black and white. Uh, just go into the comments, uh, WhatsApp your number. And somebody is going to get a hold of you. All sizes, but in the colors that we are doing right now, only black and white. With this and with the hoodie. And also the CTA mugs. Okay, sir. <laughs> Judy, this story is yours. Yes. Uh, and I want to go back to it. You only commercial break. Mm. So where we've left this story, yes. you've quit KBC, your first job. Mm. Uh, your first job in quotes because yes. I'm going to your job in Karatina. Yeah. Uh, then now, hey, I know your life. You know my life. <laughs> <laughs> I know your life. So yeah. now you are, you are, you've been home for 10 months. Kile mm. Toto. Mm. Now, November. You said November is when things change. Yes. So November, on uh, one of the days I'm just chilling in the house, I get a call. And this call is actually from Philip. Mm. Yes. And Philip is, is um, uh, like, I got a call for some job for a movie that's meant to be short. Uh -huh. But mimi si patikani, so nataka kukurushia your job. Like, I'm not available to do the, the, the job. Because you remember him, he's in Tahiti High, he's, they're doing all these other things. So I want to uh, send your contact to the person who had called me for the job. And sasa mwonge wone kama utapati yo job. So I was very excited. You can imagine after so many months at yeah. home. <laughs> and nimesoma, nimeenda shule, na hitaji kuwa nafanya kazi. So I was actually very excited for that call. So the person called. And they were like, uh, we are about to start shooting a movie. And um, 
we have a, a vacancy in the art department. So in it the was art actually, department. Art, art, art department. department. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, are you? Do you think? Uh, are you interested in the job? I was like, yes, 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 yes. And actually, what they, what she said, was in the art department. There are many roles in the art department on a movie set, mm. right? Because the art department is in in charge of sets. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there's a living room. Come in yeah, the house. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, let's make a living yeah. room. There's a kitchen. Ama there's a um, police station. Exactly, exactly. Okay. There's a police station. There's all those things. So the art department is in charge of the sets. Mm. So if it's a police station, there's somebody, a location manager, who has sourced for the location, but then it needs to look like a police station. A police station. So yes. the art department is in charge of of that for any any. But now. Uh, in the set department, there's many, many roles. So one of the roles is actually something that we call, it is not very common <laughs> in, in here, in, for the kind of productions we do, but out there, Nikitu uh, Kubwa. It's called the Action Vehicle Coordinator. Mm -hmm. So an Action Vehicle Coordinator, what they do is you are in charge of making sure, like sourcing for any car, any kind of vehicle mm. that is seen on picture. Like, e camera is o mahali ime point. Kuna fa kwa nagari no nikana mahali. Your work as an action vehicle coordinator is to source for that particular car. Whoa. It could be a lorry, it could be a, yes, a pickup. Pick it could be a Mercedes. It could be an old car. That is very, and sometimes they're very specific uh, when it comes to colors. Utambo, we want a red car. We want an orange car. We want, like, the director wow. can be very specific in terms of uh, the vehicle that they want on set. And remember, this movie that I am now a part of, Nanisha Apata Kazi, Junilinda interview Nanika Apata Kazi, is none other than Nairobi Half-Life. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, yes, wow, wow, so wow. this particular movie in Yenaitua Kazi in the Nairobi Half Life. And if you remember Nairobi Half Life, the whole story revolved around cars, around vehicles. So, Iro oh, Liango, yes. Kwa sababu likuwa naenda kuiba magari. Yes, kwa likuwa naenda kuiba magari na maspea parts na vitu kama hizo. So, my role was actually a major role. Like, eh, kazi yangu ikuwa kazi kidogo. Because the story in a revolve around this Ziga Resort, as you yes. know, to know in cinema. Richie, <laughs> so when I went for the interview, <laughs> I remember our head of department, um, the art department, was, uh, was a lady, a Spanish lady called Naya. She was from Spain, but very, like, very skilled, like one of the top uh, art guys in this country. Mm. I remember having a conversation with her and she's asking me all these questions because if this is the role that you're getting, they need to know that you know about vehicles. So mm. uh, uh, if the uh, director asks for uh, Nissan Sunny something, like unajui mm. onigarigani, because you need to know about vehicles for yep. you to get this role. Let me tell you. Hmm. <laughs> ah! <laughs> interview ni yes. Yes, but let me tell you, for some funny reason, because now, because uh, of Abel and Phil, nani watu wa magari, mm, mm. ata kama yote ima wa na magari, because <laughs> yes. of hanging out with them, ata kwa barabara, ungesika kisema ile ni nini, ile ni, so over time ni kwa nimeenza kujua magari, not because tuko nazo or anything, yeah, but just because of hanging out with them, and they used to talk a lot about vehicles and whatnot, so I knew models za magari. Mm. Ungeniambia Toyota Premium ningekwambia ni gani? Ungeniambia Mercedes Z Class 180 ningekwambia. You see like nilikuwa nishaanza kukuwa tuna hiyo interest ya magari. I get. But kumbe ni Mungu alikuwa anani prepare for this. <laughs> Job position. <laughs> Cuz let me tell you by the end of that interview I, I walikuwa shanipatia kazi walikuwa anambia yeah you 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 qualified. Wewe una hizi story za magari unazijua. And that was actually my if I was to be very honest, because here at KBC, yes, was was, yes. mm -hmm. that was actually my first gig in now the film industry. What? It was my first job. And let me tell you, Richie, si kazi nilifanya. 
me i want to hear about these cars <laughs> like, oh yes like, oh like, like, first hey. and foremost explain to people so i've interviewed mugambi mm. who was one of the actors yes. in Nairobi yeah. half life yeah. uh, so and of course Nairobi after i even know tosh gitonga yes, but director. explain to people mm. you know now there are movies mukona yes. hii click click bang which is on netflix by the yes. way go and watch click click bang on netflix tunatupa hiyo advertising yeah. dani to you <laughs> so, yes <laughs> so but then explain to people Nairobi half life there are no movies at that time yes. and then budget wise mm. this key any movie na budget kuna kuna na budget So uh, Nairobi Half Life was um, a movie done a produ- by a production company in the, um, no Agwens Kote Kuko is sides the production company it was Ginger Inc mm. G- Ginger Inc films the owner of Ginger Inc the wife and has Ginger actually mm-hmm. <laughs> and their husband uh, they are Germans but when you are from Kenya na wanafanyanga cinema in mm. Kenya so Uh, they had partnered with some organization in Germany to start producing films for Kenyans by Kenyans but by the way the, the way they were doing they were doing it is uh, they would say it's training mm. for Kenyans but practical yes but mm. it's practical so actually what used to happen is they would do um uh, like a master class sort of uh, thing for two weeks workshop a, a workshop with um uh, film people who were already in the film industry or actually people who were already in the film industry industry because mm. it was very competitive that workshop was very competitive like what we are anyone in ivvvv so prior to me now coming for this conversation and uh, the interview and what not the workshop had already happened mm. and they had already hired people to do this particular movie because then you would do the workshop after the workshop you do the movie the same people in the workshop they do the movie will then come and do the movie as crew right but sasa for um the workshop they would only do deal with the head of departments right mm. so they would do they would take a head of camera head of so it would be the head of departments in the workshop but for now the assistants and everybody else they would hire okay. when the time was uh, when they were shooting the movie mm. so that is how i got You got that him. particular uh, role in that movie so nairobi half life was funded very heavily funded by the german corporation i can't remember the name of that uh, corporation so it was actually i feel like it was the first movie in our country kukua na budget kama hiyo mm. mm. na kufika um, uh, to hit the what is it called they like, kujulikana vile lijulikana cuz yep. Nairobi Half Life was big was massive it is still on Netflix so if if you oh, Nairobi Half Life is on Netflix yeah it is on Netflix oh, I'll yeah check it out yeah i think it's still there ni miona juzi so you can go and watch it okay uh so it was on a, it actually i feel like it was one of the biggest movies we've ever yeah, done in this without country without a doubt yeah yep. so um, there was a budget I remember. Eh, hey, you mimi ndena nikambozi ile pesa nalipo Richie was like, "What?" <laughs> Can I ask like what it was? Yes, it was 60 Gs <laughs> for, for for um for six weeks of shoot. Oh. But you see for somebody who's been in the house, yep, just chilling mm-hmm. and now you get your first gig and you're getting 60,000 Kenya shillings. Yep. And for this gig, there's a driver who's picking you up from yeah. your house. What? From the gate, Apo. Alikuwa anakuja hapo kwa gate. Nana ni drop kwa gate and there is food and everything is offered on set. So basically the money you're getting ni yako tu. Ni net. Ni net. Mm. Pure kabisa mm. like hakuna TO transport or nothing. But I remember hey you didn't even finish a discipline. That is the first time I experienced way and you had work on another level because then the call time was 5 a.m. So the driver would be outside the gate at 5 a.m. in the morning. Panga ni hapo. 5 a.m. in the morning and sometimes we'd come back home sometimes it would be early 6 p.m. sometimes it would be 10 p.m. sometimes it would be the following day <laughs> yes because you're shooting <laughs> yes because you're shooting and we had a lot of night sh- night, night scenes we had a lot of like it was it was quite something but let me tell you i credit that movie like i credit me being on the set of Nairobi Half Life for everything that I've achieved in What? my life uh, up until today in terms of my career mm. uh, 
yani Nairobi half life was the thing that just that's so powerful to hear it was the project that just put me on the map when it comes to like everything else that I've done up until today in terms of career was because of that opportunity wow on that set so you i had you was it your job to source the cars yes so give me what then does a typical day look like because you know it sounds oh. right now that ah niko kwa set tu na na chill nikiangalia yes <laughs> filming can happen well let me tell you so a typical day on set would look like this it would start from the previous day because then there's something we call a call sheet that uh, you would need to get the day before. So if you are, there's a particular um, scene we're shooting tomorrow, you'd need to get the call sheet to today. Mm. So a call sheet is basically a paper showing a uh, kesho tuna shoot wapi location, uh, the scenes, the actors, the props, nini na samimi, mine used to fall under the props because mm. props is, is in the art department. Yes. So in this scene unambua uh, for example Caris uh, is seen driving into the compound he parks the car da, 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 da. Ivo. Sasa hii scene ina describe Caris akiingia into the compound. Si amesema he seen driving in. He, what is what car which car is this that is driving? Ndio kazi yako. Hiyo ndio kazi yangu. So first order of business before any before even we started shooting and everything we had like two weeks of pre-production. Pre-production is where you sit down and go through the scripts. Picking out Is it and every <laughs> yes <laughs> now it's it, it so you start with your department and the head of department and then there is now with the director cuz hapo inaweza kuimeandikwa uh inaweza tukua kuimeandikwa vw uh like a volkswagen, uh, volkswagen golf, golf. Yeah. but when the kwa director akwambie that volkswagen golf ina need kukua blue in color wow so akwe aku very specific with even the color And yani <laughs> so even if I'm going to source I'm not just sourcing for, for any yeah. golf in you know I'm sourcing for a specific car yani. a specific color that is the, that was my work and let me tell you with Nairobi Half Life we had from um, what are they called these gari za kubeba magari zingine zikiharibika flatbeds yes tulia tulikuwa na flatbed we had lorries we had police vehicles the land rovers Are they, the, are, they, are they the Land Rovers? Mm. Land Cruisers? Land Cruiser. Ya Karoni Land Cruiser. Mm. We had the Land Cruisers nini nini and I remember for the Land Cruiser tulitafuta ya Karao tukakosa. Cuz ya Karao lazima iko in the colors painted yes. nini it has mm. to be a proper proper police Land Cruiser. Tukatafuta 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 tukakosa. Tunapata Land Cruiser but at party in the specific color. Let me tell you we hired a Land Cruiser. Is is a that to uh, uh, tourists yes but one that had been like looked exactly like uh, the land cruiser for makara ungetuno mm. uko na ma spray paints painting it hizo colors za karao tuki paint na watu at department mpaka inatolewa hizo papers ndio exactly how a police land cruiser needs to look like so that is what i was doing so today. in your job so, are you told this is your budget for cars yes There is a budget that you can't exceed. So you now go negotiate with people. Yes. So we okay, ukiona let's say you are told you want a Volvo 850. Yes. Green. Yeah. Ukiona you just go negotiate with them. Yes. Let me tell you I used to in at that time kwa chukua tunaishi pangani it was a whole apartment block. By then ni kwa naambua neba ni kwa naambua kuna gari nataka na kumka mm kuna neba huyo maana kuanga nayo naenda kwake. Now I'm being now there's this movie we're shooting and you need a car that looks exactly like yours so the selling point was it was two things because you're paying them mm-hmm. to hire their car and then they would come back with a full tank of fuel ah yeah 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 chukua nataka fit yangu yes yeah so now alipia na unaenda una jaza una wajazia by the time it's coming back home full tank. Na full tank of fuel so most people would not yeah, we'll try that yeah. now you will get, you'll get a line of I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so let me tell you Richie I spoke to everybody and everyone and nilikuwa mabishti hivi na watu wa makahaya cuz hao walikuwa wana come through sana nilikuwa naambia need this car right na kaivi wana ni sort so that is what I did for Nairobi half life and let me tell you and like how many cars did you get to pick I think in total in Nairobi half life I think I sourced for 
more than 15 cars. 15? Yes. Zilikuwa. Unajua 15 cars si mchezo kiendo kitafuta. Even more. Even more with that movie. Yeah, I think ni mob. Because you see, in a scene where it's probably a garage, na kuna gari ziko juu ya mawe, unajua like a typical garage. You know those cars are not there by accident? Yep. Yeah, like they've been sourced. Yes. Zik, ndio zikae hapo. Yep. Si ati zime tumekuja tu tukazipata yeah. zikae hapo. Yeah. But let me tell you, Nairobi Half Life taught me discipline. It taught me hard work. It taught me resilience because where those hours were crazy. And you see, okay. Mumbo is 10 months old. Mm. So she's still breastfeeding. Mm. Na kila kitu. So nitatoka job usiku nimpate hapo. Anyonye usiku mzima. By the time I'm waking up, I'm so hungry. I feel so weak. <laughs> because she's been breastfeeding the entire night. Na lazima anyonye dio. Aniamuke mini ende kazi. Eh. By the way, if I did Nairobi Half Life, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, but it's also the first proper introduction into the film industry. What did it do for you, mm -hmm. from a possibility perspective? Mm. What I mean by this is, you know, Ulianza. Let me say, it lied to you. Yes. <laughs> about about the the opportunities in the yes. in the film industry. I've just been real. Yeah, that's uh, true. You started with the best. Yes. So you're like, ah, come on, my son, Evie. Ah, are you okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but at the same time, it makes you say, I don't care what people are telling me. Mm. Me, I know this industry has money or yeah. can make money. Mm. So what did it do for you? So the one thing that it did for me.